Hello everyone. I am going to discuss the school report card for my school district, which is the Belmore Merrick Central High School District. The district I teach in is located in Nassau County, Long Island, New York. This district is unique as it is a central high school district, which means it is composed of only middle and high schools. The elementary schools are in a completely separate school district. The enrollment within the district as a whole is 5,373 students, and it is split almost equally amongst males and females. The district is not very ethnically diverse. As you can see, 83% of the students are white. And as we scroll down, we will see that only 11% of the students receive free or reduced lunch, and 14% of the students have been classified with a disability, and only 1% of the students are classified as English language learners. If we keep scrolling down, we'll see that the enrollment amongst the different grade levels is pretty equal. Now, if we look specifically at the school I teach at, which is Merrick Avenue Middle School, we will see very similar statistics. There are 817 students enrolled in the 7th and 8th grade building, and it's split exactly equally amongst males and females. Again, the building itself is not very ethnically diverse, as 82% of the students are white. Many of the students practice Judaism in my building, which makes the celebration of bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs an important cultural event that many experience during their middle school years. If we keep scrolling, we will see that 15% of students in my building have been classified as having a disability, which is another cultural aspect of the building. The culture of the building is very open to students with disabilities as it is a center for middle school special education within the district. We house a Life Skills 811 program, a self contained 15 to 1 program, collaborative inclusion classes, resource room programs, and alternate day support. Because of this, the students are very welcoming and understanding of differences within the classroom that other students may experience. And finally, there is a pretty equal distribution of 7th graders and 8th graders, and there are some ungraded secretary and elementary, and those are some students that are involved in our 811 life skills classes. So thank you for watching.